Okay, Kira, oh. I'll be out just a little while. You look like you're on a mission. Yes, I am. Uh, if your brother comes down the stairs, do not let him out of this house. I'm going to go to the police station. What happened? Jack blurted out to Sam that Scarface killed his dad. He what? Yes, oh, and God. he's out of control, all right? I just need to find out who killed Victor, and I need to know now. Is that why you're rushing to the police station? Yeah. Then I want to find out what's going on and then light a fire under John. Well, you're going to have to wait in line because Tay is already there. You think John needs both of you hounding him? Sure you don't want to change your story? Why would I do that? I'm telling you the truth. In that case, I suggest you get yourself a lawyer because I think you're going to need one. All right. Doug is going to represent me. What? Look, I didn't kill my brother. You can prove... You can prove that. You can make sure that I'm not convicted. Are you kidding? Let Taya handle the cops. She is the professional. All right. Set. Oh, I'm sure she could use the distraction. Yes, yeah, she could. She and Danny are both a mess. Yeah. Have you heard from Dad? No. No, not yet. Mom, well, do you think he did it? Hi. Wanted to come earlier, is this a bad time? No, it's fine. Come on in. You okay? Hey. I don't want to be alone with my thoughts right now anyway. We don't know anything, Mom. About what? Whether or not Todd killed Victor. We should hear something soon. Why's that? Todd's now in the police station right now. What? Is he, did he get arrested? No, no, no. He's just answering questions right now. How do you know all that? They want to pin Victor's murder on me. Who better to prove that I'm innocent than the dead guy's wife? You're a real charmer, aren't you? Look, I don't have time right now for the pretty, pretty pleases, okay? My life is on the line. You know how things go for me in this town. Right, right. You're always the victim. I'm being railroaded. Yeah. No, railroad. We're going by the book. But Todd, you had a gun. You had motive. You had opportunity. You hated Victor. Okay. Uh, and you don't even have an alibi. If it was easy, I wouldn't need you. This is insane. I hated Victor. But I'm not stupid enough to kill him. You need to find Bowie. I'm telling you, he's gone. Well, you need to look for him. Look harder, okay? You wouldn't have left town without turning the gun in for cash. He promised me. Okay? You find Louie, you can prove that I never fired the gun. Are you saying that Officer Levitt had something to do with Victor Lord's murder? This was a mistake. No, please. Ma'am, I know how it is with the police. We don't want to hear about one of your own, and I don't want to tell us. So let's both pretend I never set foot in here. Look, I know Louie. I know. He said he trusts you. Yeah, and I trust him, all right, but he has never camped anywhere but on those docks, all right? He's gone. He packed up everything he had and he's left. How could he? He didn't have any money. That's why he wanted the gun from me, so that he could give it to you for cash. He, he, he wanted to buy lottery tickets. He, he wanted to go to Arizona and buy a boat. The American dream. Maybe he already went. How could he? He didn't have any money. Maybe you gave him the money. I don't know where you've been. I don't have any money anymore. I'm sure you could scrounge a bus fare to Arizona. Why, though? So you could make up this whole pathetic story to send the LPD on a wild goose chase. You need to go look for the gun yourself. At the okay. Okay. In the meantime, Officer Lovett already checked out and he said Louis is gone. So what, he can't find the gun, so all of a sudden I'm lying? It means that you can't prove that you didn't kill Victor. No, but you can if you find the real killer. No, wait. Wait. Please. Hey, you can't go. If there's something that you need to say about Officer Lovett, then we need to hear it. Never mind. Really. Um, Ms. Um, just call me Tracy. Okay. If there's a problem with Officer Lovett, then we need to know. Even if he's a cop, especially if he's a cop. Okay? Look, I promise you, whatever is said, We'll take it very seriously. It might be nothing. You wouldn't be here if you really believed that. It's okay. You can you can tell me. I heard Brody Lovett threaten Victor Lord. So what? You have juice at the LPD? Juice? How do you know what's going on? We made a call. We knew what you'd want whatever information we could get. How are the boys? Actually, not good. Sam's having a hard time with this, and I was going to break it to him gently, but 
Jack just blurted it out that his dad was dead. He, he's upset. They're both upstairs right now. Anything I can do? No, 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 no. Actually, I need to get some food in this house. Maybe I'll go to the Buenos Dias. It's Sam's favorite. I'll surprise him. Well, let me drive you. That'd be nice. So you I'll are... check on them in a while. Right. She's my rock. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yes, it means I'm reliable. No, I mean, I know what it means. But if you feel the need to freak out or anything. I'm okay. Danny is a mess, and you heard about my brothers, but... Okay, truth. Only... I just keep praying that it's not true. Which part? That my dad had anything to do with this. I just got him back. I don't want to lose him again. Well, you won't. What if he... If he shot Victor, if he killed him, then he could go to prison. I don't think this is going to happen. We are looking at every suspect in this murder. Really? Because it kind of feels like you're only looking at me. Well, that's like the lawyer said. You had motive, means, and opportunity. Yeah, and no alibi. You also have brains, right? You really think I'm that stupid? I don't know, Manny. I don't know how smart you are. Taya, you know me. Tell him. What, what, what is the single most important thing in my life to me? Um, I give up. My kids. Come on, I wouldn't have killed Victor. If I, if I had, I, I would have, it would have cost me everything. Like you said, the man had your life. No, I have my life. I finally have my life back after eight years. I'm not going to screw that up. Yeah, I, I couldn't stand the guy. I hated him. I wanted my money back. I, I wanted my newspaper back. But most of all, I wanted my kids back. I wasn't going to kill Victor because if I had... Danielle and Jack, they would hate my guts. It would break Star's heart. You know something about my dad in prison? You have inside info with the LPD? Oh, yeah, that's me. Big man. No, seriously. Do you know what happened last night? Maybe. All I know is that my dad lied about where he was when Victor Lord was killed. I would really like a chance to get to know our daughter. I haven't barely even spoken to Danielle. And I have a granddaughter. Can you believe that? And Jack, he's been pulled on and twisted in so many different directions. He doesn't know who he is or where he is. I mean, these people need me. Can you, can you believe that I would ever say anything like that? Please. Tell you, for them. You have to take my case. I can't believe you're still asking. You're the best lawyer in town. I'll give you five million dollars. That's supposed to be funny. Kind of. I don't know, you, you married me for five minutes. I thought you I didn't have any money. To this, I, I... For Danny, then. Do it for our daughter. Brody? I mean, Officer Lovett, um, threatened. Victor Lord, why? I don't know. I mean, no, I mean, how? What did he do that was so threatening? Officer Lovett barged into the office. He flashed his badge at me and said he had to see Mr. Lord. Mr. Lord told me to leave. I did, but I stayed by the door. Something felt wrong. I heard them start to argue. It got louder, and I got concerned. So I went back in. I stayed in the back. Officer Lovett never saw me. I'm not sure he would have noticed anyone. He was so furious. That's when I heard it. What? He threatened to kill Mr. Lord. I just, I just need a minute before I go in there and face people. I can't believe that this is happening. How could Todd be in trouble? I mean, it's, it's my, and it's my fault. Excuse me? No, if I hadn't have told him that there was a gun in Dorian's safe, then... Are you kidding? You think Todd Manning couldn't find a gun if he wanted one? This is not your fault. What if he did it? Larry, you don't know that. And I'm willing to bet that Victor's death had nothing to do with you at all. Why would you say that? And do you know something? Don't you dare use Daniela to manipulate I'm me. I'm not trying to manipulate you. Oh, yeah. you'd say anything, you would do anything. anything. Yeah, because I need you. Why? In what kind of sick fantasy do I get you off the hook for murdering my husband? I am never going to defend okay. you. Hold on. To be clear, okay? 
Victor was guilty, right? You represented him. He he kidnapped Marty, played some weird game of house with her, and you represented him, and he was guilty. At least I'm innocent. Like hell you are. Detective, you let me know what you need from me to convict Todd. I am willing to make a statement, to testify as to how much Todd hated Victor. You let me know. I'll let you know. Okay. I'm going to make it my life's work to see you rot. It's just me, but I think you might want to get a different lawyer. Why? Are you charging me with Victor's murder? You actually heard Officer Lovett say, I'll kill you? Well, not exactly that. Okay, what exactly did you hear Officer Lovett say to Mr. Lord? When I came in, Officer Lovett was saying, how clear do you want me to be? If you do anything to destroy what I have, you're a dead man. That's a death threat, isn't it? All the evidence is pointing your way. Am I under arrest? No, not at this time. You need to go find Dorian's gun. It's at the top of my list. Can I go? Yeah. Hey, Manning? Do me one favor, don't leave town. Why would I? Everything I have is here. This time I'm gonna keep it. I think your dad had something to do with Victor's murder? And my dad was mad that Aunt Taya didn't leave Victor when she found out who he was. And he's always hated the guy. Okay, there are a lot of people who hated him. A lot of people with CIA training? Who know exactly what's going on at the police station? I mean, what kind of call did he make to find that out? Do you really think that your dad is capable well, of doing... You know, he's capable. You know, last night, he was supposed to meet me, but he shows up late with some lame story. Looking... guilty. You sure about the date this happened? Positive. Can I go now? Yeah, thank you, Tracy. You did the right thing. I hope so. And listen, I, I promise we... I won't drop this. I'll make sure that we look into it. Why? What could Victor destroy of yours? Victor's murder. Oh, Taya. Hey. I'm so hey. sorry. I haven't even had a chance to, to stop by and see you. I've been dealing with the boys. You'll never believe what just happened to me, where, where I've just been. <laughs> well, Star said that you were at the police station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That son of a bitch, Todd, just tried to hire me to defend him. Are you under arrest? I have no idea. You know what? I'll talk to you about it over. I need some fun or a drink or a gun of my own. Um... So, uh, what about my Uncle Todd? Did, did you arrest him? You don't have enough to hold him. But you will. I don't know. You know, as he pointed out, he, he'd have to be stupid to kill Victor. Although I'm not sure stupidity is enough to stop Manning. Hasn't in the past. Mm -hmm. And certainly Victor had plenty of enemies. So we need to track down every lead. We need to interview every suspect before we make an arrest. Now tell me. Tell you what. Come on. I always know when someone's bothering you. What's going on? Go ahead. Hello? Yeah, that's me. What, you dead? Yeah, uh, that's great. Th thanks. That looked like a good phone call. It's fantastic. So tell me. I mean, are, you, are you sure? No, really, I could use good news about anything right now. I, I sent the demo of our tracks out to a few producers, and one just called back. He loves it. Seriously? Yeah, he wants us to meet his A&R guy. He thinks it's a hit. Oh, my God! Oh, that's amazing! <laughs> I should get that.
home too late. Why don't, you, uh, why don't you get out of here? Go home to your little boy. Sounds like a great idea. Dad, what are you doing? What's he doing here? It's great to meet you. I am uh, Tomas Delgado's kid. I know who you are. I thought you were at the police station. Yeah, I was trying to clear my name. Well, did you? John McBain has it in for me, but no, he couldn't prove that I had anything to do with Victor's death. Are there any other suspects? Well, there's lots of suspects. Lots of people in this world hated Victor. Plenty of them have guns. Lots of people know how to use guns. Look, I'm gonna let you guys... Oh, okay, that's, that's a... a great idea. So long, then. Okay. I'll meet you then. Ciao. I'll be in the Adios. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. Oh, you didn't? It's my job. You are in so much trouble. How do you even have time to be your dad, Stark? I always have time to be your dad. I have something to say. I did not kill Victor Lord. I didn't, I swear. I need you to believe me. I am. But do you believe me? I would never do anything to hurt you, or your brother, or your sister. And, yeah, I hated Victor, but I would never hurt you like that. You know that. I do. I don't think you killed Victor. I believe he's dead. Drag down by the docks and drag every lake. Every storm drain this is a priority. We need the gun that shot Victor Lord. I want status report. In one hour, I'll be here. What, you can't get enough of me? You still hanging around? Lieutenant McBain? Yeah. I'll just, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay. I'm Tomas Delgado's son. I remember. What can I do for you? Check out his alibi about last night. Why should I do that? Because I think he lied about where he was when Victor Lord was shot. All right, keep being posted on the investigation. Now my sister and my niece are safe from Victor Lord. That's all I care about. How is Danny? Oh, she slept with me in my room last night, and she just she shook all night. All night she just she shook. You took care of her. Oh, I tried. How are the boys? Oh, Jack is Jack and Sam. He refuses to believe. Don't, don't, don't worry. No, I, I want to know how they're I doing. Know I want to know. I know that you love them, and I know that you're worried, but you don't have to because I can take care okay. of them. Right? You got enough on your plate. So yeah. Let me, let me get you home. Okay. I don't know how you're holding up. I bet you feel like you need to scream, throw something, or collapse. <laughs> you know how I like to do all three.